A while back, we had covered DBGPT, which is an open source AI native data app development framework with an agentic workflow expression language, as well as with agents. Now, in simple terms, this is a great framework that hosts all functionalities in one. It's an infrastructure that hosts a field of large language models. You have the RAG algorithm. You have the ability to chat with files and LMs locally and 100% private. You have a multi-agent creation framework, as well as so many other features. Now, DBGBT is something that could be localized, which means that you can interact with LMs, models, as well as various sorts of plugins locally to interact with your data as well as your environment now with this solution you can be rest assured that there's no risk of data leakage and your data is 100 percent private and secure now since my last upload on dbgpt there has been a lot of new updates and this is where they actually released the dbgpt 3.0 update which is introducing an ai native data app and there's also this new drag and drop UI where you can build multi AI agent frameworks. There's also ability to interact with a data interpreter, which allows you to process data better. And there's also ability to create various sort sorts of AI apps as well as AI agents. And this is something that we're gonna be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at The World of AI. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at DBGPT, which is an open source AI native app development framework. It has the ability to include almost everything within this framework. It's an agentic workflow expression language and agents are used to simplify and enhance large language model applications. Now in this architecture, it includes a multi-agent or a multi-modal modal management system. There's a text to SQL optimization. There's RAG algorithms. There's a multi-agent collaboration system and so much more. You can see from this architecture that there's various things included into it. You have DBGPT that is going to allow for seamless interaction with various data sources. And this is the new upgrade that they have. It's going to allow for better insights and analysis on data. And it's going to even output better data. It supports private domains. It has the ability to enable the creation of applications with minimal coding. And it features automated fine tuning for text SQL. And it also can be used for data driven multi agent execution. This is something that has become quite intricate and this is why I really wanted to take another look at it because they have done a great job in developing this further. So how can you get started? Well, you can install this by the source code or you can deploy it with Docker. But another great way is to access it through their playground, which is a cloud hosted playground for database GPT. Now I'll leave a link to this in the description below as well as all the other links that I use in today's video. But the easiest method to install this is obviously going to be with Docker. But with source code, it's super simple as well. You need to just make sure that you have all the prerequisites installed, such as Miniconda for setting up the environments. You need to make sure that you have Python. You need to also have Conda and Git installed. Once you have those prerequisites installed, you can clone this repository. You can then create the virtual environment. Once that is done, you set your env or your API keys, and then you can deploy a model that is, has been installed locally, such as OpenAI's API key can be integrated. You can utilize Quen, Chat GLM, as well as many other models. But once that is set, you can then download the large language model as well locally so that you can have it run fully private and locally. And once that is done, you can just install the requirements, the dependencies, and then you can launch it up. Now, the Docker deployment is quite self explanatory. You just need to make sure that you have Docker installed and then you just need to prepare the image. And you just follow through with the examples over here. But in my opinion, what I recommend is trying it out first on the cloud hosting method. So this way you get a better idea as to what you can do. So you can sign in with a Google account or you can sign in with your GitHub account. Now, this is your main dashboard for DBGBT. This is where you can select all the other prerequisite quick start agents that they have already created for you. For example, you have the chat data, which is going to be used to process your data a little bit better. This is the chat DB, which is where you can have professional conversations with your metadata. You have a dashboard, which is going to be coming soon. You have the chat DB GPT, where you can just ask generic questions to your large language model, 
a chat knowledge in agent chat as well as a chat excel now i accidentally clicked on this so it's going to keep loading but we got the error because it's coming soon now you can set your own prompts you can connect your own databases base sorry with your sql or with postgres or whatever database that you're using you also have the ability to upload various file types where you can integrate and create your own knowledge base for a certain agents for example you can create your own knowledge base you can assign an owner a description choose a data source type you can upload various file types and you can then upload it within, within dbgpt you also have the ability to work with various sorts of plugins you can create your own you can upload from github as well as include third-party integrations which is really unique now i really want to emphasize on this new feature which is a gentec workflow expression language this is a special language that they have integrated for creating intelligent workflows for larger models now it makes it easy for you to develop applications by handling a complex detail for you now with the awel framework it's something that will focus on your app's logic without worrying about the technical stuff it's it's basically utilizing this layered api and it's going to be designed to keep things organized and flexible this is the thing that we mentioned previously at the start you have this agentic workflow where you have this drag and drop ui to create these various sorts of workflows multi-agent frameworks as well as applications let's now take a look at the lightweight automatic fine-tuning framework and this is for text sql tasks this is an easy to use fine-tuning framework and this is for this specifically and this is just with a few lines of code so you can fine tune various lms using different open source data sets it supports multi fine tuning techniques like lora if q lora as well as p tuning it's a framework that will make fine tuning the process a little bit more easier and simple now another feature is a service oriented multi-model management framework and this is where it supports numerous large language models it includes llama llama 2 llama 3 as well as many other large language models it's a service-oriented multi-model management framework and it's designed to efficiently deploy and manage these models across various computing environments. So it manages and supports multiple models and inference frameworks so that it could be adapted for single machines as well as clusters and it's easier for cloud-native deployment. Now I definitely recommend that you view their docs because it is going to showcase a lot more practical use cases as well as what you can do with each feature such as their data app, you have the flows and showcases all the usages for it. You have advanced tutorials for a rag parameter adjustment. Then you have the SMMF, you have the command line usage, API interface usage, and so much more. Now, I'll leave a link to this in the description below, but that's basically for today's video on database GPT. This is something that I really wanted to make another video on because of the new upgrades that they have released. So definitely take a look at this because it's an all-in-one model that will help you out in various ways. Now, I'll leave a link to all of this Make sure you take a look at the Patreon page because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because we're constantly posting the best AI content. So make sure you take a look at this. And I also have introduced something in my last video, which is AI solutions. And this is where we're providing consulting as well as assistance in implementing AI into your business as well as your personal workflow. So if you're interested in that, take a look at the type form link in the description below and we can get started with you right away. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.